Hey beauties, it is February 6, 2020. Welcome to Hair of the Day. I'm Ray with Olive Beauty. Um, so today I was thinking, this is my lovely after run hair. You can see that there's a little frizz. I was just thinking since yesterday, all I did was show a very simple curl. I was hoping I could work with that today. So I was just going to play around, see what my hair has done in these braids. Every time I'm working out in the day, I always put my hair in a braid. It just seems the easiest way to keep a style kind of living throughout your workout without having to fight it so hard after. So I'll take a brush, just brush through, see what's going on in here, what the curls have done. My hair is super clean. Uh, it's just a little bit sweaty now. I always suggest if you like a little bit more structure and grit in your hair, then I would always say put dry shampoo. Um, like I always say, I don't like a lot of structure in my hair. I like it feeling soft and fresh as long as I can keep it that way. So I, I generally don't put dry shampoo unless I need it. So the curls are not too bad. I'm going to show another very simple curl. I'm just out teaching a yoga class and then doing some hair today. So I'm not looking for it again. You will get on with this with me if you are interested in everyday simple hair. I'm not much to tweak with my hair a ton. I just think, as I said before, it's just, I have so much other stuff I'd rather do in my day than just mess around with my hair. I don't know if I can swear on all these platforms. Anyways, so again, I will suggest a one inch wand um, iron. And I would always suggest, as before I'm going to do this, put hairspray or something that's gonna heat protect your hair because we wanna keep our hair as healthy as we can. And adding heat is not natural. It doesn't even make sense that we feel like we need to style this dead protein, but here we are. So spray that in and then I can touch it with an iron. I am always an avid health, health, health for your hair. I just think if we can have beauty, we can have health. They all go hand in hand. Okay, so now I'm actually ready for the iron. Today you could be using a wand, which means you don't have the clip on it. Um, if you have just an iron, same as me, then you'll be fine because there's tricks to this. So, again, for this kind of a curl, I would always suggest ear forward, curling back. I always start with my fringe. I'll flip this, whoop, my glasses. I'll flip the iron down and I'll spin it in. So if you have a wand, you would just forget that that clip is even there and you would just spin it in like that. Now this curl is a lot more beachy. It's a lot more relaxed than the curl that we did yesterday. Um, it's kind of a casual, like you could do this to go, well, I mean, I'm doing it for everyday hair, which you definitely can, but you could use it to go to a festival. You know, it's like that kind of beachy, hippie, you're going out for the night with some girls and you just want to look done up and not too glam, then this is a perfect curl for you. Um, again, once you get to the back of your head, you really can go any direction you would like to. There's no rhyme or reason, but I always reiterate this fact. Front of the face, push back away from your head so that you're not feeling over encompassed by the curls. Um, if I am going to teach yoga today, which I am in like an hour, uh, then I'll probably end up tying my hair back as well. So that's why I don't want to mess around with this curl and make it so perfect and worry so much because I'm about to get a bit warm anyways. And because of my hair texture and the curl that I already have going on in there, it will come out, <clears throat> pardon me, no matter what I do. Um, as you can see, I've done the front and now this is where I just go and pick up random pieces and I'll just curl them whatever direction I'm feeling. Some forward, some back, doesn't matter as long as you're getting these little caterpillar curls. They always look like little worms to me, little curly worms. Something that you'd obviously not really want in your hair, but the thing is once we comb it out, it's a perfect curl. 
Um, once again, the angle of my iron is for a left-handed person. You'll catch on. If you're right-handed, then you'll just have to flip the iron around or wand, whatever you're ending up using. So here, I'm not that fancy. I'll just pick up whatever section I want. Um, if I'm spending time doing my hair like this before I go teach a class, I will usually just bring a scrunchie, which I can show you in a second. And quite honestly, I just very loosely wrap it around my hair so that once I'm done the class, uh, I, w I can just take it out and kind of re-rake my hair to come back alive. And there we are, I'm back in style. Um, if you need to take your time with this, clip with sections, use your time, you know, be patient with yourself, go ahead. I'm just uh, going quick because I curl my hair all the time. Plus, I don't want to waste your time watching me just do the same thing. Again, I love hand mirrors. I think they're super handy for this kind of a thing because I bet there's like a row in the back, I can feel it, that I've just not even grabbed. So then you'll have that perfect line of unstyled hair right down the center of your head, which really looks kind of funny. So you wanna make sure you've got that. If you've got a girlfriend uh, to come help you out, then that might be a good thing to do. And then she can practice how she's gonna style her hair. This is just super easy. Um, the reason why I switched the curl today is because the braid kind of gives me this kind of a texture to start out with. So then I'm not fighting trying to add a different kind of curl with something that's already half created in my hair. The curl yesterday is just a bit more formal than this one. So I think that I've got a fair amount of it. Um, you can see the back of my head here. I'll take this mirror very loudly and take a peek, see if there's any pieces. Yeah, there's one or two I could grab. So then you just take that C straight piece, take your iron and wrap it around. So easy. So now that we've curled everything, we'll once again give it a little spray. I like the flex hairspray more than I like the control spray of Living Proof if you're looking for a new spray. The only reason I have that is because I accidentally bought it and I used it and I didn't want to return it. Used, you know, that seems weird. So again, I have some extensions just in the front of my hair. So I'll use the brush to brush them out because raking my fingers through them will make them look more PC than they need to be. But if you have a natural head of hair as most people do well not most extensions are fairly popular but you know what I mean if you just have your own hair lucky you um, you can just use your fingers to rake it out and not worry too much so as you can see my hair is still fairly textured it kind of looks like a bit more formal look of that um, run curl that I just had five minutes ago um, my one side of my head always weirds me out, so I always love just honestly picking up a tiny section here, twisting it back, and either just sending a really simple pin, like a bobby pin in it, or I got this fun clip the other day. It's one of those old school ones we used to wear all the time. So you just slide it in, close it, and look at it, you're all glammed up and you've spent Less than 10 minutes on your hair, you're good to go. You can go teach that yoga class, you can go to the office, you can be a nurse, doctor, or whatever you're doing. And I hope you enjoyed the video. My Instagram is at Holy Snip Spray. This is with Olive Beauty, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.